It's been a while. Alright guys, what is up? Doing a brand new update. Been quite a while. Um, I still got in the mode way back doing one each month at the end of each month at the same date. I think it might have been the 28th. Stop that. Sort of stopped with YouTube for a while, about a two months I stopped with YouTube. Started to do a new video and out and about. Link down below, go check it out. Then I did a sort of two or three random videos. Nothing really that great. Back here with an update though. I'm um, come back to YouTube a little earlier than I wanted to. So I sort of went off YouTube for a while because pretty much my entire work where I work obviously, found out that I was doing YouTube and I just sort of stopped for a while because I wanted it to sort of settle down on my work before I came back on here. So a couple of people actually still watch it. So I just thought, who the hell cares? I'm still going to do it now. So I'm back a little earlier. I said I was going to come back in December. No, not December, October next year, you know. But I'm here now in November, two months later or so. I think it was a month and a half, two, two months. So I'm back here with an update. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. It's probably going to be one of the biggest updates I've ever done. And if you are a regular watcher here, you know how big my updates can be. Um, my picture, my biggest update I've had that I've probably had about a hundred or so titles. This is probably way bigger. So go get a drink, popcorn, chocolate, whatever you like to eat. Then come back and watch it because the runtime will probably be over an hour. <coughs> Alright, so yeah, as I said, it's going to be like over an hour, so it's a movie length, so you're pretty much going to be watching a movie about someone talking about movies. Let's get started, so I actually did buy quite a lot of DVDs, as you can tell here. I'm not the biggest DVD buyer, I'm really into Blu-rays. I've got a mixture of stuff here, Blu-rays, DVDs, VHSs, CDs, books, blah, blah, blah. This goes on, so let's get into it. I'm going to shove that one over to later. First DVD here, um, I paid a dollar for. A couple of these I did only pay a dollar or so for. Um, first one here is Bowling for Columbine. Um, I've heard this so much around on YouTube, so much buzz about it. Never really bought it because I could never really find it. And when I did, it was always like $10, $12. And you know, that's a good price, but I wasn't going to pay it for this. Um, so Bowling for Columbine um, is about. Obviously, most of you guys know it's about Michael Moore. He's a documentary filmmaker. He goes around and pretty much just, you know, does interviews, does, you know, all these sorts of things about America and how violent they are with guns and stuff. Um, and he says America doesn't need to be as violent as they are with guns and proves his point by showing other countries um, and stuff like that. And he really focused on the Columbine shooting um, at the high school, which I thought was really good. A few bits made me sort of, you know, tear up a little bit. You know, it was a, it was a really good do documentary, definitely worth checking out. Um, dollar was a fantastic price for it. I'd probably pay five or six dollars if I found it for that price, but hey, I found it for a dollar, so. Buying for Columbine, great, great film. Okay, so the next one I got here, I got as an extra entry for my work about a couple days ago, probably a week ago. Um, I was doing a whole bunch of X rentling. Um, this was one of them, I think it was a part of a 4 for 20 that we're doing. And it was, cause we took a whole bunch off the shelves, we rearranged the entire store. Took a whole bunch off the shelves, or the manager took a whole bunch off the shelves. Um, this one was one of them, so it was a 4 for 20, so I got this one. And it's the Messengers. Um, a lot of the other ones I didn't really want cause they were in the Blockbuster cases. Don't really like when they're in the, in the Blockbuster you know, covers, but this one was an original one. I haven't seen it in years, Messengers. Still need to rewatch it, so I can't really remember that much about it. I've watched the sequel quite a few times with Norman Reedus, so really excited to revisit this one. So five dollars, not a bad price. This next one I bought for also five dollars, but not from my work. I got it from Cheapest Chips. Still haven't watched. It. I have seen it many, many years ago. It's Martians Go Home. Um, it's sort of a really, from what I remember, really cheesy, corny, just stupid comedy um so yeah marty ends go home so this next one i got is a robin williams one it was two dollars um it's 
Moscow on the Hudson. Haven't seen it yet at all. Uh, I'm really excited to. Um, it hasn't got many special features. It's got an audio commentary by Paul Mazowski, or however you say his last name. That's it. That's the only special features on here. So, but anyway, it's a DVD. What do you expect? So, if it was a Blu-ray, it would have been like, hey, maybe some more special features, but it's a DVD. As I said, I haven't seen it yet. I'm really excited to choose Rob Williams. You know, very depressing that he passed away. But yeah, Mud Moscow on the Hudson. I was about to say Moss Mossen on the... So the next one I've got here is, um, is a Harrison Ford one. I almost forgot who he was. Um, I've been wanting to watch this for years since it came out. Um, never got the chance to pick it up. This is on Blu-ray, so it's really, really weird that I picked it up on DVD. I may end up picking up on Blu-ray if I like it, but it's 42, the true story of a sports legend. Um, I remember seeing the trailer for this quite a while ago. I'm not sure if it's one I really, really want on Blu-ray. I am a Blu-ray fanatic, and I always say if it's on Blu-ray, I have to get on Blu-ray, I won't get it on DVD. This was an exception. It was sort of just like, do I need it on Blu-ray? It was a dollar on DVD. It was a dollar, so that's the reason I picked this up on DVD. It was a dollar. So, if I find the Blu-ray really cheap, probably five or six dollars, I'll pick it up. If I really like, I'll buy a brand new for 20. But, for now, it's a dollar on DVD. I'm gonna pick it up, watch it. If I like it, as I said, I'll give it a go on Blu-ray. So, this next one I got is a Ben Stiller and Drew Barrymore one. It's called Duplex. Still haven't watched it. I bought it about two days ago. It was another two dollar one. Um, it's pretty much a brand new Nick, so I had to get it. I haven't seen this, so I'm quite excited to. It looks kind of good from the back. I don't know if you guys can see them. Um, looks kind of good. It hasn't got that many special features either. Behind the scenes special. Don't know what's so special about it. Um, and deleted scenes. I don't know. It's two dollars. I don't know if it's going to be any good. Probably not. It, it's been still. Alright, so this next one I got, I got off eBay for two dollars and thirty something cents. Free postage, so I got it. Not a big fan of James Franco. I got it anyway because it was two dollars and thirty something cents for and free postage. Um, brand new and sealed, and it's sunny. Is it any good? Please let me know. The trailer looked kind of bad. It, you know, some trailers are really really bad, and the film's really really good. And sometimes the trailer's really really good, and the film's really bad. So I don't know, is it any good? Comment in the description if it's any good. This next one, absolute bargain, absolutely still same. The next one that I'm about to show, five dollars on DVD. Um, it has 30 movies in it. It's a Western pack. It's got 30, 30 films on it. Um, it's got, it's got eight discs and it was five dollars. It's absolutely incredible. I haven't watched any of them yet, but I will get around to it. Um, I got it from Big W, so that was an absolute steal. Usually, for the last probably six to eight months, Big W have just jacked up their prices on everything. So to find, I know they have their five dollar DVD all the time, and it's got some of the crappiest things on it that you don't want for five dollars. It's the stuff they want for fifty cents, and no one ever buys it. But this, this Wild West Guns Lingers, I don't know what the hell that says at the top. Wild West Gun Lingers, I don't know, collection volume one, so there's been more than one pack. I'm gonna have to keep a lookout. There wasn't more than one volume there, so I got that. Apparently, it's got some names under the bottom saying featuring Sutherland, Nielsen, Walker, Van Cleef, Hill, and many more. I don't know if they mean like um, Donald Sutherland or Paul Walker. I don't, I wouldn't think so. I don't know. Who knows? I'm going to have to wait till I watch it. This next one, as I said, was $5 absolute steal. Um, it's the Betty White collection. It's got her best 40 episodes. Um, America's Funniest Lady, apparently. Um, it has Life with Elizabeth, episodes 1 to 20. Uh, 24, sorry. Episodes 1 to 24, Life of Elizabeth. And then A Date with the Angels, episodes 1 to 16. And a bonus documentary. So that was pretty good. I enjoy some Betty White stuff. Um, I haven't seen a lot of her stuff, but I've seen, you know, uh, what's the TV show she did recently? That Cleveland, the Hot Cleveland. A couple of episodes here and there I watched on TV when I was bored. 
seemed funny, so I got that $5, you know, it may be good, it may be bad, but hey, it was $5, so. So this next one I got is a horror film I picked up for something like 3 or $4, but then my manager at work said I paid too much for it, I haven't watched it yet, it's called The Hive, I don't know, should I watch it now? It, it looks kind of interesting from the back, um, sometimes I like these really bad horror films sometimes. Um, actually, I think I might have got it for a dollar as well. I can't, I can't remember what I bought it for. It was a couple of dollars. I wouldn't pay more than three dollars or so for it. So it was less than three dollars. Let's just say that. So the hive it looks cool. I haven't seen it yet. A lot of the DVDs I haven't seen yet because I'm really stuck to Blu-rays. Um, Flesh in their picnic. Okay, so this one's a double pack. I bought it for ten dollars off eBay. Uh, brand new and sealed with free postage. I thought it was kind of good. I already just bought this for uh, the bottom one, which is um, Fun Dick and Jane, but it also has the Cable Guy. Um, so I thought $5 a movie. I haven't seen the Cable Guy. Well, I have now, but when I bought it, I said, oh, I haven't seen the Cable Guy. So it was something that, you know, I really, was really wanting to watch. Loved the Cable Guy. I absolutely loved it. Uh, I've, I've seen Fun Dick and Jane many, many times. So I knew I loved it, and that's why I really bought it, because... I was at a mate's house and we were just talking about movies and stuff and he's like, oh yeah, I watched Home Dick and Jane last night on TV. I'm like, oh my god, I haven't seen that in years. So I went on eBay the next day and bought it. So I got this double pack for $10. Bargain. Absolute bargain. It was a great, great movie. Um, can't wait to revisit The Cable Guy because that's what I'm going to revisit a lot now. It was hilarious. This uh, next one, um, this didn't come out on Blu-ray in Australia, but I'm really considering getting the one from England because it's about... $10 with free postage from England. So I'm really considering, I didn't look on eBay before I bought this. This was $6, brand new from JB. They had a horror sale recently in October. Um, so this went down to $6 and I did realize for extra portals I could have got on Blu-ray from the UK. So I may go on there. I haven't seen this yet. I've seen the first one, I loved it. I haven't seen the second one, but it is Cabin Fish, the Cabin Fever, Patient Zero. Is it any good? I mean, it's $6, it was brand new, so it has a really cool cover, it looks kind of interesting on the back, but covers are very deceiving, so I don't know, is it worth paying the extra couple of dollars, or well, $10 now and buying the Blu-ray from the UK, is it even worth watching? Let me know in the comments, please. For this next DVD, um, I've seen it many, many times, so I've owned it twice on DVD, uh, I don't know why I've sold it off, I have no clue, it was a great film, it's Stand By Me. One of the best films with a group of kids in it besides Super 8, I think. Um, it's got such a good cast, Corey Feldman, Ruben Phoenix. Um, such a great cast, just about a group of young boys travelling you know, down railroads in the forest and stuff to try and find a dead body. Another thing is there, so it's just an adventure of these four young kids. Great, great, um, great, great movie. I, I didn't know what I was going to say, that was going to be like, great, great, and then didn't think before I spoke. But it is a great, great movie. Uh, it's a collector's edition, which I think all the DVDs are. You can't actually buy just a regular edition of this. It's got a shit ton of special features in there. Just look in that little white box there. That's all the special features. It's, you know, got audio commentary from the director, walking the track, so a documentary. Um, isolated track of songs. It's like all songs. Stand By Me music video. Uh, talent profiles. I don't know what that means. Picture disc, so I'm um, guessing like a slideshow, so quite a few on there. Can't wait to revisit this again, so really excited. Now this next one, I've seen this so many times. I've probably seen this 10, 12 times in my life. I just love it. I haven't seen it in about 10 years. I watched it about three or four weeks ago, um, and I just fell in love with it again, and it's Indian in the Cupboard. Such a good movie. If you haven't seen this, definitely go out and just go and buy it. Um, it's about this kid who gets, it's his birthday, I think it's his 8th or 10th birthday or whatnot, and his um, brother gets him like a little uh, cupboard from, you know, the dump, and um, the, the brother loves it. He thinks it's like his new best friend, and, um, you know, he gets some army men and stuff from all over the place, and he puts this one little Indian in there. Um, he closes the door and locks it, and when he wakes up and he opens it, the Indian's alive. Um, so, you know, this Indian's his new best friend and stuff, and he starts putting all these new figures in there, locks it, unlocks it, opens it, and they're alive. Um, and it's about him trying to keep the secret, and, you know, trying to get the figurines not to fight. 
yada yada yada, the story just goes on and on and on, so it's really one to check out, um, anything in the cupboard. This next one was originally just a telly movie, a TV movie, it wasn't meant to be uh, brought out on DVD, it was, this was on channel 9 and there was another telly, a TV movie playing on Channel 7 uh, that was in excess and it was a massive battle between them. Channel 10 which is the other major, major channel here didn't really get any views at all um, on what they had it was a really big battle between the two and views they were so high um, so that was in excess on the other TV but the one I got was Chappelle I watched this on TV so I went with this one um, and I absolutely loved it I haven't seen the in excess one they also released that on DVD and Blu-ray this one was just a DVD exclusive. Um, it was honestly a great, great, um, it's not a documentary, it's like a reenactment of what all the trials and, you know, her getting caught and all that is. Um, so, and the reason they released this was, it was because the day before her next trial, so she's been in jail for decades and stuff, and, well, probably a decade, I think it was, maybe a little more. Um, so, they were having a trial, like, in real life, for her to be released. And then they released this movie the day before, and I think a lot of people tuned in for this to see what, what all the fuss was about. Because a lot of people, you know, it was 10, 12 years ago, so a lot of people wanted to know what it was like. Especially me, I was so young when it happened, so I wanted to find out. Well, I don't think it was very true in this movie what happened, but you sort of want to get, you know, a drift of what happened with Chappelle. Uh, her name's Chappelle Corby, so the movie's called Chappelle. Don't know if I told you what it was even called. Uh, so yeah, this one's Channel 9, another one Channel 7. I don't ever watch Channel 9, so it was really surprising that I actually tuned in for this. I saw the ads probably once or twice, and I'm like, I have to watch that. So I tuned in for it, I rarely watch free air TV, like ever. Um, which leads on to the next title. So this show is the only show I'll watch on free to air TV. I will not watch anything else because it's all a load of crap. Um, and it's NCIS, this is season 11 here on DVD. Um, it's got a shit ton of special features, um, you know, documentary celebrating 250 episodes, um, you know, NCIS in New Orleans, which is the new spin-off, um, Finding Ellie Bishop, which is their new agent, yeah, 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 it's got a shit ton on there, um, best show on TV, um, absolutely love it, they're about halfway through season 12 at the moment on TV, so, absolutely love it, best show on TV. Um, absolutely love it. Alright, last DVD guys. I've got quite a few DVDs there. Um, this one is a documentary. It's just over an hour. I know you guys are going to judge me, but I don't care. It's uh, called Harry Styles, My World. Member of One Direction. Uh, they're probably one of my favourite bands, along with the Rolling Stones. Uh, I know a weird combination. Uh, I also like Nickelback and a whole bunch of others. Um, but I decided to get this. It was $10. thought, why not? It's... It's going to be a layback Sunday afternoon documentary. It was actually pretty decent. Wasn't as good as I was expecting, but it was still pretty decent. So, so as I said, I've got a few VHSs in here as well. I'm going to show you guys them before I get onto the Blu-rays. So, the first one here is Kindergarten Cop on VHS. All these VHSs were 50 cents. So I thought, why the hell not? Some of them are really, really good. So, I've got Kindergarten Cop. Great, great deal. I've seen this probably two or three times. Love it. I got Chicago on the 10th or it could be the 15th anniversary Blu-ray. Um, first time I watched this was actually on this exact VHS. I got this from my grandma's house, so um, I absolutely love it. So this is the very first copy I watched it off. So alrighty, so the next three are um, Lord of the Rings VHSs. You got um, the extended edition VHS of the Fellowship of the Ring. And then you got the theatrical one of the Fellowship of the Ring. And then you got the theatrical one of the Return of the King. So, very happy to have these. Um, I want to eventually get all the VHSs of them. I know I have about two others, I think. One of them is the Two Towers. And I think one of them is extended of the Return of the King. I don't know. I know I have two more of them. Alrighty guys, so on to the Blu-rays. I've got a couple of TV series here. Uh, so let's get started. The first one here is the complete second season of V. I got this off eBay and for some reason there's some sticky shit over the uh, What do you call it? Like the m rated symbol. They've stuck their own on it and they've stuck it to the slick and I can't get it off. I 
can't get it off and it's ruining the actual slick. Like, not the actual case, actually on the inside bit of paper that it's stuck it. So I'm a little pissed off about that. So, V season two. I haven't seen this show. I've seen the first couple of episodes of season one on TV. Wasn't that interested in it. I've got the first season of DVD. Now I've got the second season on Blu-ray. I'll eventually get around to watching them. Probably in the next hundred years sometime. The next TV series I got is the complete fourth season of The Walking Dead. Uh, I think it's up day one, just when I'm like, I have to get it. I got the limited Sunny the edition with the limited cover of Rick and Carl on the railway tracks and I hate, hate the lights that are glaring off the covers. It, I've got a red dot on just above the um, lens and it's the screen, the LED screen. So I, I could probably flip the LED screen around the other way so you don't get the glare, but then I can't see what if it's actually in the frame. So anyway, uh, Walking Dead complete season four to five disc set. I loved it when I was on TV. Um, season five is going awesome at the moment, guys. If you haven't tuned in for season five yet, it's going amazing. Um, not gonna spoil what happens. Uh, I've been meeting to a whole lot of reviews about the episodes, haven't got around to it. I should probably start let me know in the comments if you want me to start doing reviews of each of the Walking Dead episodes. I really want to, but I don't know if people would watch them. So let me do. Let me know down below if I should really watch them, uh, not watch them, uh, review them, or if I should do a like complete series or season review or whatnot. Let me know down below. I know I've done a couple Walking Dead videos here and there. I did a review of the season five trailer um, and stuff. I also did a season four finale review. I think I did, or it could have been a season four complete. I don't know. Um, I also picked up seasons four and five of the Twilight Zone. I also own season three, I'm pretty sure. Or well, I did at least. I don't know if I sorted it off or not. But uh, they're $15 each. Uh, usually they're 60 But for some reason the store I went to, I can't remember where, had these two of the last ones left. And they were $15 each. So I'm just like getting them. Because usually they're about $50, $60 each, so I had to get them. Alrighty, so just moving on to the normal Blu-rays here. So the first one here is the extended edition of The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug. Absolutely love it. I watched the first day I got it, which was the first day it came out. It's got this limited cool cover here. Fuck you, screen. Um, it's got about 25 extra minutes, and I absolutely loved it. Uh, the Bourne scene was extended, um, the forest scene, scene was extended, absolutely amazing extended edition. I uh, waited so long for this, I'm like, just bring it out already. And they finally did on November, what was it, October, no, November 15th, I think it was. No, not that soon. I don't know, it was this month sometime, I don't know. Alright, so this next one, I think it was like $5 on Blu-ray and it's Columbiana. It's the DVD, uh, not DVD, Blu-ray and digital copy. Um, I wasn't that great when I watched it. It was kind of pathetic when I watched it, but it was like a five dollars or something. So I'm like, I'll get it. Five dollars, who cares? So I got it. Zoe Saldana. So unless you find it for a couple of dollars, I wouldn't pick it up if I was you. Um, next one, I really loved, I wanted to get the trilogy, but it was like $45, but I got the first one for like $5 as well. And it's Jason Statham in Death Race. Um, absolutely loved the trilogy. I actually watched them backwards. I watched three, two, one, instead of one, two, three. Um, bit stupid, but then I ended up watching them one, two, three again afterwards. So really happy to go back to the first one for a third time. Um, really, really good trilogy. Um, I, I remember when this first came out, I didn't even expect when I watched it, because I watched it years after it came out. Because I think this was a 2000, yeah, 2000, is it 6? No, 2008. Because so I saw it was a 2008 film, but it looked like it said 2006. 2008 film, I think I watched it in 2012, um, when the third one came out. Um, so I really, really enjoyed this trilogy. You definitely go check it out if you haven't seen it. Five dollars, absolute bargain. Um, I, all I can really remember about it is that Jason Statham's character gets framed for killing his wife and then gets put in prison, some sort of prison where they're made to race around this track and they get killed. I 
can't really remember that much about it, but I remember it was awesome. So pick it up if you haven't seen it. Next one is Labor Day. Um, I ordered this off eBay about eight months ago. It never came, so I bought this as an extra rental from my work. Uh, I think it was fifteen dollars, or it could have been a part of the two for twenty. I can't remember. It was one of the two. Um, awesome film. It was what I expected. It was such a good film. Um, I don't know what you think. Oh, it's a girly film I'm watching. I really enjoyed it. Um, Kate Winslet and Josh Brosnan did a fantastic job in this. Definitely want to check out if you are a movie lover. So. Okay, so we've got a couple of shit ones coming up now at the moment. Sabotage. Piece of crap. Piece of crap. They... This should have been awesome. It has an outstanding cast. It has Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sam Worthington, Josh Holloway. It's got... Oh, Terrence Howard. Oh... It's got an awesome cast and they screwed it up. It wasn't what I expected. I was going to see this in theatres. Accidentally missed it. I'm thankful I didn't see this in theatres. I got this for like, as a 2 for 20 deal on my work. I'm kind of ready paying $10 for it. I really am. It wasn't worth it. If you can get it for like 5 get it. But it's really nothing to get excited for. Um, as I said, there was a couple of crap ones. This one, I... It, it's not complete crap, but... It really took so long to get into. It dragged and dragged and dragged right at the start. The ending, probably the last half hour was good. The first hour just dragged. It felt like it went on for 10 hours. That's The Other Woman. A lot of people love this. They're like, oh my god, Other Woman's so great. It really wasn't that great. I was expecting so much more. And the trailer looked funny. They, they put almost all the jokes in the trailer. Almost. So, I was a little disappointed. So... You know, if you can get it for a good price, for about ten dollars, get it. I paid fifteen or fourteen ninety five. So if you can get it for five or ten dollars, get it. But it's not really anything to pay fifteen dollars or more for. Um, there was a lot of special features on here: deleted scenes, alternate scenes, gag rule, uh, jiggle fit, photo gallery, yada yada yada. I'm not gonna go and watch them. To be honest, I really don't want to spend more time watching this. Um, the ending was really good. As I said, last very half hour was really good. Very entertaining. Very funny. First hour, though, really dragged. So, probably not one to pick up anytime soon. This next one, however, was funny as hell. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was going to be a movie where they put everything in the trailer. And they really didn't because there were so many jokes. I laughed my ass off at. That's blended. I can go back and watch this over and over again now. I picked this up from a video store down in Salisbury for like ten dollars. I'm really happy I got this. So yeah, blended. It was so hilarious, and a lot of people saying, "Oh, Adam Sandler's past couple films been shit." I don't know. They haven't been the best, like the '90s ones, like Big Daddy or you know. Billy Madison or anything, but they are still hilarious. It's like a new Adam Sandler. Like, he's done his 90s stuff, now he's in the, you know, 2K14s. Um, so, yeah, blended. Uh, very, very funny. I do recommend this one to anyone who is, you know, semi-liking his new stuff. You know, he's kind of like his new stuff. It, this is probably better than a lot of his other stuff. This next one is a Joseph Gordon-Levitt film. I watched this back when I was at my old store at Video Easy. Absolutely loved it. It's called Premium Rush. Um, anyway, um, I haven't re-watched it yet. It was very good though. I've had it for a couple months, probably about two months now. Um, so yeah, it is one to check out, but I haven't been in the, really in the mood to watch it. So I will get around to eventually watching it. So, uh, one I haven't watched yet, but I've heard so many great things about is Fruit Bowl Station. Um, this is trailer that's been playing so much at my work. I just thought I'm going to pick it up. I think it was part of a 2 for 20 deal at work. So I'm like, I got to get it. So Fruit Bowl Station. This next one, uh, as I was saying before, uh, Adam Sandler films, everyone's saying they're going downhill. I don't really agree that they're going downhill, but they're not also going uphill either. They're sort of the same. I got Jack and Jill. A lot of people didn't like this. A lot of people didn't like it. I actually loved it. It's very funny. A lot of the films people hate, I love. Such as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the most recent one. Called Texas Chainsaw. Everyone hated it. I liked it. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's just something really weird that happens, it's, everyone hates it, I love it, it's crazy. 
But Jack and Jill, I thought was hilarious. It was so funny. Um, I really didn't expect but the truth. As I said, the tra trailers, if they're really, really bad, the film's usually really good. If the trailer's really good, it's really bad. Didn't really look like the trailer that much. It wasn't very that funny. I finally got it and I laughed my ass off. So, Jack and Jill. Okay, so I got her. Um, I haven't watched this yet. I don't know. Is that the guy f I doesn't, don't think it is. Is that the guy from Sons of Anarchy? I don't know. I don't know. It's a guy talking to Scarlett Johansson on a phone. Speaking sexy. I don't know. It could be a big pile of crap. That's what I'm expecting from it. Is it. I'm expecting it to be the biggest pile of crap. But I don't know. I haven't watched it yet. But it's gotten quite a few good reviews on it from people. So, I don't know. Okay, so, The Aggression Scale. This is a film where, even if you watch the trailer, it's not what you expect. I freaked out in this movie, I'm like, what the hell's going on? What just happened? Even though I saw the trailer, I was just like, uh, what just happened? It's about kids killing people? These guys break into someone's home, trying to get money back that they took or some crap. And they kill the parents and the kids are getting revenge on the people before they kill the kids. Um, and one of the little, well he's not little, but one of the boys, He's like a psychopath and he's like setting up traps and all that. It was really, really like, um, I don't know the word, bizarre could be the word. I picked up for five dollars. So, aggression scale, um, yeah, not what you think. One that I watched today, uh, The Last Exorcism Part 2. Wasn't, it was pretty decent. It's not as good as I wanted it to be. Last one was filmed up a camcorder, you know, I saw that documentary sort of found footage sort of thing. This one was filmed as if it was like meant to be like a really, really good film. Like it's actually like setting up the camera in different angles and stuff. Not like a, you know, oh, let's go film this, yada, yada, yada. Um, it was good, not great. Definitely, I'm gonna stick to the original, the last exorcism part. Or, you yeah, know, the original last exorcism, not the original, original, but the previous one that they did. Um, but yeah, it was, it was pretty good. It's not bad, I'm gonna rewatch it eventually, but not for quite a while. Um, yeah, last exorcism part two. I don't, I don't know if they're gonna make a part three. I think they will, because they sort of left it open for a part three. I don't know, but they could just reboot the entire series again like they did with that. Like they did all the exorcism movies and then they did the last exorcisms. So they probably will do a part three considering how uh, popular these sorts of movies are. So yeah. Uh, I've got two limited edition movies that came out JB. Um, they had about 10, maybe 12 different limited edition movies that came out. I picked up two of them. I want to go back and get more. Um, one of them is Land of the Dead. Um, I haven't watched this for a while, re-watched it a little while back. Uh, still have the same opinion, it's pretty decent, but not as good as everyone saying it is. Um, reason why I got this one as well as the other one was because it was 2 for 20 or they were $16 each, so I got this one for $4 pretty much. Um, you get this awesome limited poster in it. I can get it Back to front, so you get this one and then you get that one as well. So that's pretty cool. I don't really want to put them up or put, put like pins through them or whatnot. So I'll leave them in the covers. Um, and the other limited edition one I got is Jewel. Never released on Blu-ray here in Australia. I'm not too sure about America. They released a Steven Spielberg set I was going to get because um, as you guys can probably tell from my username, I am a huge Steven Spielberg fan. I was going to get the box set but I pretty much own 90% of what's in there already and the cover wasn't that great, so it wasn't like a limited, oh my god, look at that cover. Oh my god, there's like 10 films that I don't own. Um, there was probably two in there I didn't own, one of which was Jewel. So I'm like, I'm just going to get Jewel because the box was like $200. I'm like, uh, I'll just get Jewel for 10 um, But Jewel, a uh, great, great film. Um, I watched some of the special features. Uh, there was a documentary on there. Um, about how they made the film and stuff, which is absolutely awesome. Um, they just, they, you know, they said how they put cameras all down this massive, massive road, and on this road was the actual, you know, uh, diner and blah blah blah. Because usually what they do is they usually go to so many different locations around the country and stuff. But it's actually all on this one road. 
um, and they placed cameras all down the road and they filmed it in 10 days. Um, he ended up going two days over, so it was actually 12. But that's awesome. Um, it says the most bizarre murder weapon ever used. It wasn't that bizarre. You know, probably for its time it was bizarre, but not really a gas tank could come on. Everyone has seen roadkill. Come on. Uh, but yeah, Jewel honestly loved it. It was one of the many few I haven't seen at Steven Spielberg, so absolutely love it. Um, as I said in probably my couple of updates ago, probably about three or four updates ago, I said that was that was one, and it says it was the last Steven Spielberg film I had to buy on Blu-ray. It wasn't true. It was just the last film I had to buy because I did own this on DVD. So I'm just upgrading all the ones to Blu-ray that are coming out slowly, that are all these old ones pretty much. So, Jewel. And I love how they put the little uh, quote things there. I don't know if you can see them. Pretty dark. They put the little quotation marks there. Um, I know you guys are probably going to hate me buying this. I didn't really like it either. The movie review, the link for the movie review is down below if you want to see what I said about it. Wasn't a fan of the movie, but it's Godzilla. The, um, I paid a couple dollars for this. Can't remember exactly, probably two or three dollars for it. Um, and I had the same opinion about it the second time around. It wasn't that great, but it was, it's still watchable. You know, Brian Cranston does great in it. So it says an epic showdown. It, it was a showdown, yeah, but not an epic showdown. I'm not sure if I want to see the sequel in theatres. I may wait till they release a the Blu-ray. I know they had the steel book of this at JB for forty dollars, but when I was I was intending on getting that. Then I saw this for things like two or three dollars. I'm like, I'll get that instead, thank you. So Godzilla. Uh, I got the first Ghostbusters. They re-released these for the 30th anniversary ones. Um, so I got the first one, it was seven dollars from a used store. Um, they're twenty dollars in JB Hi-Fi, so I'm like, I don't know if I want to buy them for $20, they're great films, but if I can get the first one for 7 I'll eventually buy a second one when it comes out at the used stores. Um, I remember owning this on Blu-ray, but then I got this one, because it was the 30th anniversary one, which it doesn't actually say anywhere on this cover. But I know it's the 30th anniversary one, so... Um, I also got this one, I didn't really have high hope for it, but ended up loving it. I really need to get a lighter buff here, it's getting really dark. It's gotten really dark in here for some reason. Um, there we go. So, yeah. Okay. So, it gets really dark. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. So, I didn't really have a host for this. Um, and it's Edge of Tomorrow. Honestly, I really liked it. it was, it's rewatchable. I really did like it. I love the ending for it. It's such a good ending. It, yeah, it's better than I thought. Okay, so... Um, and I see it's a really good watch. Uh, it's how long does it go for? Hour fifty. I thought it was going to be like a three hour film, but it wasn't. Um, really well done. Really well edited. Um, it says exhilarant, exciting, clever, smart, and action packed. Honestly, that's pretty pretty spot on. Is what that is. Is um, and that's from Access Hollywood. So that's pretty spot on for what you're going to get. Is you know exhilarating. Exciting, clever, smart, and action packed. That's what it is right here. And even if you're not a Tom Cruise fan, I'm not the biggest one, but I, you know, it's cool films I like of his. Even if you're not a Tom Cruise fan, check it out anyway. It, it's a good film. It's a good uh, one to watch. Um, I also got Need for Speed here on Blu ray. Better than I thought. Um, I used to say to people that I'd watched it and I didn't like it, but I was lying. I hadn't watched it. I. Just said I didn't like it because I didn't really want to watch it. Um, got around to watching it. It was really good. And it was as good as people were saying. Because a lot of people were saying, Oh my God, it's like the best movie of the year. Oh yeah. It was really good. Not the best movie, movie of the year. But it, it's up there. It, it, I'm not too sure if I want to put it in my top ten. I don't know. I don't know. Monuments Men. I love this film in the theatres. If you guys haven't seen the movie review I did for it down below. It's a movie madness review. Um, I teamed up with Jack 99 I'm here, link for his channel down below. I teamed up with him to do a movie review for this. We did about three episodes for Movie Madness Reviews. They didn't go so well. So we said, let's just cut it. We'll just do our individual reviews. Um, cause it, it sort of got on 
you know, it was a bit of a hassle as well. You know, I would have to, he would send me his movie review through email. I would put it into my editing, and then I would upload it. He would download it. He would upload it, and then it was just a hassle as well. So if you haven't seen the movie review, we've left him up down below. Um, excellent, excellent film. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail because you guys can just drop the, watch the movie review. I think it went for five or so minutes. Um, excellent, excellent film. I love Joel Goodman. He's one of my favourite actors of all time. Reason I want to go see this film actually, because I'm not a big fan of George Clooney or Matt Damon um, or Kate Blanchett for that fact. And I'm pretty sure she's Australian. Um, but I already went for John Goodman, and he was the one that really stood out to me. He always stands out to me in the films, even if he's got a really small character or you know a background character, which he was in this. Uh, one of the best bits in this movie was where Matt Damon stood on the landmine, and I talked about this in my movie. Matt Damon stepped on the landmine, and all the guys came in, and they're like, what are you doing? He's like, I've just stepped on a landmine. And John Goodman's like, why would you do that? Best line of the movie. I absolutely loved it. I cracked up laughing. John Goodman is the funniest man I know in, in film. So I also got Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. Uh, I haven't watched it in a couple of years since it came out. I think it was a 2010 movie uh, or 2011. I can't remember. And I can't see it on the back when it was made. But I, I enjoyed it when I first watched it. It was one that I thought was a good price. It was $7. So. Good price, uh, definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. Million Ways to Die in the West. Funnier than I thought. It was actually pretty funny. Um, and I don't really like Seth MacFarlane. I'm not a fan of Family Guy or any other sort of animated films, you know, Family Guy or Simpsons or, you know, South Park and whatnot. Uh, this was kind of funny though. Um, I loved Liam Neeson. I thought it was hilarious, especially with Charlie Theron. Uh, great, great film though. Definitely check it out, even if you don't like Seth MacFarlane like myself. It took me months to watch this on Blu-ray. Because um, it was out and out, and then I finally just bought it for $10 or whatever, and it was worth $10. It was probably worth $30. Anyway, okay. Uh, I'll show you the game next. The game was in the past. They're sort of just random. And you can tell they're random because there's still two DVDs stuck in one of the Blu-ray files. The game I got is The Last of Us. Uh, I started this game, I hired it from Video Easy when I worked there. Never got around to finishing it, so I finally bought it for 30, 15, 20 dollars I think it was. Uh, finally got around to buying it, it's actually installing again on my PS3, I don't know why I have to reinstall. No, it's not reinstalling, I have to do an update and then I'm going to go play it. Later tonight. It's like 2 30 in the morning. This next Blu-ray is actually limited to like 50 copies in Australia, so I got my hands on one. The last house on the left, the remake. I was gonna import this um, from the UK, but it was like 40, 50 dollars. I'm like, I'm not importing that. So I finally just waited and they released like 50 copies of it on this website. Uh, I can't remember what the website was now because I was just searching last test and left Blu-ray on Google and it came up like this website and in the description it said limited last test and left. Um, clicked on it, went into it and it says limited 50 copies, blah blah blah, last test and left. I bought one. Here it is. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of thing. Yeah. It's, it's kind of cool. I am so happy that I got this on Blu-ray. Uh, creepy, disturbing, and gross from Empire. Uh, four and a half stars out of five, I'm assuming. I think it's five. Yeah, Empire does five. Uh, yeah, what will happen? Who will survive? I love this film. Really good. It took me years and years to watch it. Um, but I finally got around to watching it and it's absolutely awesome. So now I got Pet Cemetery. I haven't seen this yet. I know, kill me now. Um,. I think they made three of these. Did they make three or was it two? I know they made, definitely made two, but did they make two or three? I don't know. Um, this Blu-ray was three dollars, so that was a bargain, absolute bargain. And I was gonna buy this when it first came out on Blu-ray from JB. It came out, I think, last year, early last year on Blu-ray. Um, I think it was twenty dollars they wanted. I didn't get it. I did want to. Luckily, I waited because I got it for three. So yeah. 
Um, I got the counselor on Blu-ray. I'm sort of just trying to rush through these all now because I've got so many left and I don't know how long this is going for. I don't have the timer, so I don't know how this is going. Um, the counselor, Ridley Scott film. Yeah, Ridley Scott film. Um, I was going to see this in theatre, but I, for some reason, it just came and went really, really fast. Um, it's got Cameron Diaz and Penelope Cruz, Michael Fassbender and Brad Pitt. Huge cast. Uh, looks really interesting. I can't wait to watch this. I still haven't yet. I've had so many things to watch, as you guys can tell from my update. So, yeah. Um, this next film, I hated. Everybody loved it. Why? It's Ride Long. <gasps> I hated this film. It is one of the worst films of this year, or probably of this decade. It was so boring. Honestly, I don't see what people find funny in it. I laughed once. I think, maybe, I can't even remember. That's how bad it was. It is a shit comedy. I want to sell it, but then at the same time, I don't really want to be selling any of my Blu-rays. Because I've done it in the past, I've sort of shit ton of my Blu-rays time to time, and then it, I, it just looks shit. Because I don't have any, any Blu-rays as I used to. So yeah, right along. This next film I got, um, it's a horror film. I remember, I bought this from work. It was a two for 20. I remember when this film came in and I was, I was on with my boss and he sort of made the joke, oh my God, this looks shit, yada, yada, yada. And it actually did look kind of crap. Um, and it's called Raze. Um, the back looks so bad and dodgy. Uh, but it was actually pretty decent. It's about these women who get put in these cells. They get taken and uh, they are made to fight um, to the death or their families get killed. It's about them all trying to escape and there's a couple of twists and turns I won't spoil. But uh, Ray's was actually pretty decent. So the reason I bought this was because I want to try and build up my horror collection more. I love horror so I've been trying to get horrors wherever I can. As you guys can tell, I bought quite a few horrors and there's still a few to come so yeah the next one I got here is called Out of the Furnace uh, this film didn't feel like an hour and a half or no an hour and 50 minutes it felt like 40 minutes it actually flew past uh, it's got a great cast it's got Zoe Saldana it's got uh, uh, Chris, uh, Christian Bale Woody Harrelson Casey Affleck Forrest Whitaker Sam Shepard great great film it's about um you know, uh, Christian Bale's brother who gets killed because he's a fighter. He was in the military and then he went into fighting. Um, he pretty much went out to this fight because the guy he knows, he's only giving him shit fights. So he's like, I want I want to fight this dude. And he's like a really good fighter, you know, sort of redneck sort of, you know, out in the forest, in the middle of nowhere, drug taking, whatever. Um, so he's like, I want to start fighting because I have their group that they'll fight and stuff. And he's like, I want to fight. And then they end up killing him. Um, so it's his brother trying to go out for revenge. Um, and his brother works in a, uh, a, a, a it's like a, not a power hole, but it's a plant. They use furnaces, which is, I think, why they used the title Out of the Furnace. Um, I'm just going to hold this here because it's actually really, really bright. I don't know if it's happening with you guys as well. But it's happening in my screen. Yeah. Out of the furnace. Couple of comedies here. One of them, uh, well, this one is really, really good. It's called Last Vegas. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it yet. Um, it was actually really, really good. Better than I thought uh, about these four guys. Uh, Rob De Niro, you know, Michael Douglas, from, uh, Morgan Freeman um, and stuff. They all go to Las Vegas um, to have a bachelor party. Uh, Michael Douglas is getting married. I'm pretty sure it's Michael Douglas. Yeah, and um, they haven't seen each other in quite a few years. They were best, best friends, and they have been for years. Uh, De Niro and Douglas are fighting in the movie. They're not friends anymore, and they trick him into coming. Uh, it's about them trying to get their friendship back together and stuff like that. It's, it's really, really good, really, really funny. Um, one that I'm going to watch so many more times in the next couple of years. Great, great film. Bad Words. Um, this film, hilarious. I've seen it four times since it's been out on Blu-ray. It's hilarious as shit. I love it. Um, unpro... Uh, what is that word? Upro... Ro, uh, uproarious fun? Shows I don't go to spelling bees. Um, great is the word. Brilliant and funny. Yes, it is brilliant and funny. What is that word at the top? 
uproarious fun. Check it out if you haven't seen it. It, it is a good one to watch. Why is my thing so dark? Why am I so dark? Brook Mansions, action packed. What else would you expect from a Paul Walk film? Come on, it's it's a Paul Walk film. It's got cars in it. it it's a Fast and Furious spin-off. That's what it is. Yeah, that, that's what it is. Brook Mansions. Who's excited for Fast and Furious 7? I am. I'm sorry, that was lame. Just One Day. I uh, didn't even know this was released in Australia up to about a month ago when I saw it on the new release shelf at our work. And I'm like, when did this come out? And found out it came out like two months ago. Yeah. I didn't know. I was waiting, 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 and it was out, and I didn't even know it until I finally actually for one time put it back on the shelf when I came back. And I'm like, hang on, I know that. Uh, it's got Vera from Eager and I'm trying to get all her films, same with Steven Spielberg. Um, so, Just My Day was one of the last ones I need to get. I think it's like one or two more. But I finally got it, thankfully. It was actually pretty good. Anything with her in it is absolutely great. So, uh, first time I saw her was in Orphan. Um, and from there, she just became my favourite, one of my favourite actresses besides Michelle Rodriguez. So, Just One Day, great, great. Um, Great, great. It's a great movie. It's about um, Andy Garcia's character and Vera Farmiga's character. They're both two different parents and they take their kids to a, a college to uh, see what the college is like. Vera Farmiga's daughters really, really just want to go there. She's like, I don't want to go anywhere else. And Andy Garcia's son's like, oh yeah, I'll check out a couple of places. And while they're there, Andy Garcia and Vera Farmiga, they're off running about, doing all these different things in campuses while they're Andy Garcia's the son and Vera Farmiga's daughter are off doing all, all, we're going to college, we're goody two-shoe kids, yada yada yada, and it's all like, they've reversed them like, for once the parents of the kids and the kids of the adults, so it was a lot, a lot of fun, um, check it out if you haven't seen it. Uh, one of the best buys of this, uh, update, X-Men Days of Future Past, uh, limited edition one. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen Jack Signorian's video, he did a whole unboxing of it, you get limited cards and there, yada yada yada. Um, so pretty much, you get all these cool collector's cards. Um, where's the one? Oh, there it is. So you get about 40 or something other cards. This is the one that I'm putting on the front. Generally, it's this one that comes with it, like it's the preset one. Uh, there's all of them, but I have a uh, Shadow Cat on there because she's my favorite character. Who doesn't like Ellen Page? Uh, you got you know Quicksilver and Havoc and Logan and Storm and Professor X and blah 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 blah. blah. You got all these different characters, and then inside you have the Blu-ray. This is the 3D one and stuff. Awesome, awesome set. I think I deleted my movie review of this off eBay, I can't remember, I did a lot of deleting from my account, I had something like 300 and something videos, now I'm down to 250 or just under 250, I can't remember. Yeah, so I deleted about 70 videos or so um, from my account, because I'm now monetizing my videos, so a couple of them had copyright issues. Decided to delete them. I think the movie review for this is one of them, so I can't tell you to go to the link below. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, because what I used to do is I used to add movie trailers to the start of my movie reviews, and quite a few of them got banned for copyright. Well, they didn't get banned, but I used to just click OK. I understand that I've breached copyright. Um, and they used to let them go through and stuff, whatever. Um, but then when I started monetizing my videos a couple of weeks ago, about two weeks ago, um, I couldn't monetize them without deleting all the ones that had copyright on, on them, even though I said okay, I know, blah blah, I still had to remove them if I wanted to monetize my videos, so, yes, and if you don't know what I mean by monetize, um, I'm getting paid by YouTube now, yeah, I'm, I'm getting paid by YouTube. The next one is Noah, a uh, great, great film, I saw this in theatre with my best friend, um, day after my Oma passed away. So, you know, it's a little sad bit because it was a bit brutal, but it was a good film. I've watched it a couple times since it's been on Blu-ray. It's 
great, great film, great visual effects. I did a movie review on it. I'm not sure if it's one I deleted. Um, but I actually got quite a few views on it. If I, if it's still up on my channel, I'll have a link down below for it. And there was a lot of controversy in the comments. I didn't know if I wanted to delete the comment section or leave it because there are some people like, oh my god, I did such a good film, and then other people like, oh my god, it's the worst biblical movie ever made. And so many people just arguing between each other. I'm like, sorry. Um, but if it's still up, if I left it up, if it wasn't the one that I del if it wasn't one of the ones I deleted, I'll link in the description. So, uh, so two of the DVDs I actually left here because they were sort of linking to the Blu-ray. One of them is Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. I watched this one today. What happened? Toby Hooper directed this and it's a comedy. Texas Chainsaw Massacre beginning. Um, more of a serious one of Texas Chainsaw. Um, I remember watching this with my best friend in the back room of her house and loved it. Not the best Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, um, probably the original or I know you guys going to hate me, the new one, Texas Chainsaw. Which is up next, Texas Chainsaw 2013. Now you guys are probably saying, hang on, you bought that a couple months back, you bought that back in like November last year. It seems like the same edition. I sold off the last edition I had, which had this slip cover. I kept the slip cover. This is the Australian edition now, the 3D one. I've been upgrading a whole bunch of my movies to 3D now. I'm getting a 3D TV soon. So I've been getting a 3D one. The one I had was 2D, which came in this slip cover. It was the UK one. So I re-bought it on 3D and 2D. So I re-got it, just kept the slip cover. A little cheeky, I know, but I, I like the slip cover. It's a cool slip cover. Um, I got Disturbia. Uh, great, great horror film. Loved it. Seen it so many times. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, definitely just go out and watch it. It's about this uh, young man, played by Charlotte Booth. He is so close to being on uh, spring break. Um, and Tim and his dad are out fishing one weekend and they hit, get hit by a car. They both survive. Then another car comes by and hits him again and his dad gets killed. He survives. Um, then he's having trouble at school and um, he's in French class and he's teacher comes over and he's like yada 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 you need to improve your grades and then he sort of goes too far and says what would your dad think and then he just gets up smacks him has a lawsuit on his hands and he is um, on home arrest for four months for the rest of spring break um, so when he's on house arrest he's sort of getting so bored that he's spying on the neighbors one of the neighbors is a psycho serial killer um, and he's trying to you know, tell the cops, but they're not listening, and yada yada yada. It's a string of, string of strings, so it's about him trying to get this murderous creep off his street. One that I picked up for a dollar is 10,000 BC. I used to own this on Blu-ray. I uh, paid $10 for it last time. I think I got a couple of dollars back when I sold it, so I gained a couple of dollars. So, I bought it back. Uh, great, great film, great visual effects. I don't know. There's just a couple of sold and I'm rebuying back. I don't know why. I don't know what I was thinking at the time. So, I don't know. Okay, down to the last couple. Um, I'm going to show you this one first. I sort of split this up from the other ones. The original Texas Chainsaw Massacre on Blu-ray. I don't know why this one is separate from the others. Um, so, I pretty much bought almost every Texas Chainsaw film this month. Um, this is the 40th anniversary one on Blu-ray. It is so... So good on Blu-ray. It's got a couple of grainy scenes in there. Uh, mostly it's, you know, really, really good, you know, 1080p. Um, I've seen this probably about 50, 100 times. Sex of Chance Massacre series is one of my favourite horror franchises. Probably besides Scream, um, you know, you got your Friday the 13th fans or your Nightmare on Elm Street fans or, you know, your, um, what's the other one? Not Friday the 13th. There's the other one. Halloween. You got your Friday the 13th, Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, or Texas Chainsaw Fans. I'm a Texas Chainsaw Fan. Uh, compared to the rest. If I had to put them in order, I'd probably say Texas Chainsaw, uh, probably Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Friday the 13th, and then Halloween. I know that sounds crazy while Halloween lasts over the rest. I don't know. As I said, 
I prefer ones that other people don't really like as much. But uh, this is a great addition, a shit ton of special features I still haven't watched. I will get around to them eventually, there's just so many, look at that. Okay, you guys can't see that. Anyway, there's a shit ton on there, okay. Um, and the last one is a shit movie, it's Transcendence. I didn't like it. Really didn't. But I bought it on Blu-ray for $12. A bit too much, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay. Um, I got a CD and two books. Um, CD I got is that. I'm sure you guys can read that. One Direction 4. Um, I know, I know, I know. Why am I buying their CDs? I like their stuff. As I said earlier today, earlier this afternoon, and I know it's going on for ages this video because I was on three, three battery life, now I'm on one. And I bought one of their books, uh, Who We Are. Um, bit of the way through it. But to make up for that, I know because a lot of people are like, oh my god, why is he buying that? To make up for it, I bought Rolling Stones. This was $13. It's this cool ass limited edition thing. It slides out. Uh, and you got all this cool stuff that slides out on each page. Pages, you get one of these things, it's got all their tickets sliding in and out, posters, all that cool stuff. Um, so that was awesome. So that's the last thing I bought. Well, it's not the last thing I bought, but it's the last thing I'm showing on this update, which is probably 6,000 hours of watching. So I'm going to leave it like that. So I'm really, really right. For some reason it's going really dark and I don't know why, I, I'm not sure if it's my lens, I'm going to have to do some playing around with my camera, it's usually not that dark, um, or maybe it's because it's 2.30 in the morning and it's just like I'm tired, just like I am. Anyway, I'm going to go play The Last of Us if the uh, new update is done, hopefully it is. When I checked The Last of Us at like 25%, it's been quite a while since. I've been doing this, so I'm off to play The Last of Us, um, probably in a while because I've got to try and put these movies back in my collection in order, specific order. <sighs> took me 20 minutes to get the things out. I was going to say another word, but I wasn't going to say it. Yeah. So when I put them back in, which will probably take me half an hour or an hour, I'll eventually get around to playing The Last of Us. Yeah, that, that's, that's going to probably a while. Anyway guys, so thank you so much for watching uh, my DVD and Blu-ray update, one I haven't done in ages, that's probably why I have hundred and something titles. I don't actually know how many I have, I'll have to count them afterwards. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, um, hit the like button, drop me down a comment, I said throughout the video, drop me down a comment if it's good or if it's bad, blah blah blah. Drop me down a comment uh, if you guys like these updates, um, you know. And definitely, guys, hit that subscribe button. Um, you know, I've got quite a few more videos to come. Um, so, yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I'll see you guys later.